Hello, Libra. Welcome to your uh, impromptu reading for the next seven days. Um, this reading is going to be kind of short, okay? It's a little quick filler. Um, in this reading, we're going to cover what you need to know for the next seven days, um, what you need to be aware of, which could be the same thing, but I have been getting different messages for either or, so I'm going to include two different questions. Um, a money message for you, and then we're going to conclude it off with a oracle card for the next seven days, Libra, okay? Um, Libra, I do have an intuitive message for you. Uh, I feel like um, it seems like there's an opportunity, Libra, in the next seven days, and you're kind of like on the like on the fence about it, like you know, in like one foot in the door, one foot out, like not sure what to do. I feel like Libra, um, something can give you everything you want out of it. Like a, you can take full advantage of something. Like there, there's a lot to gain from an experience or from an opportunity here, but. In order to fully get the benefits or fully reap the rewards of something, you cannot be in and out, back and forth, wishy-washy, one, one foot in the door, one foot out. Like It's either you're fully in or you got to get the fuck out <laughs> and, and get, make some room for somebody else, but you cannot take up space. Libra, I'm sorry to be harsh, but it's like you cannot reap the full rewards or full benefits. Like You're not going to see that if you don't fully immerse yourself into something. Like You have to embody it, become it, or step into it. There's no plan. I mean, there could be a plan B, but there's no like, uh, maybe I'll do it today. Then maybe not tomorrow. No, you got to go full in with it. There's no room for, you know, nothing else Libra. Okay. Um, but I don't know that that could come up this week for you that that's what you need to know as well. Uh, what does Libra need to know next seven days? Okay. We got that. Yep. And yeah. Indecisive, like indecision, two of swords. What's this two of swords? What the hell was that? Was that a tree? I saw something like on the desk. I don't know what that was. Uh, what does Libra need to know next seven days? Two of swords. Too many, too many cards. What's this two of swords? What is, uh, I kind of feel like Libra, someone is acting kind of sus towards you. So I kind of see you walking away from them. Like it's like out of nowhere, someone here is acting kind of sus or maybe someone could be acting like indecisive towards you and one, one, you know, one foot in the door, one foot out, wishy-washy. I feel like someone out of nowhere starts acting suspicious or weird. I'm, I'm getting an energy Libra that someone could be bad mouthing you behind your back or talking shit about you. That's why they're acting weird towards you. Or that's why they're acting kind of sus because they're talking about you to other people. I'm getting an energy of like bad mouthing you behind your back. This person could be younger than you. Two of swords, eight of cups. What is this? I feel like um, a situation with someone Libra, I feel like it's best for you to walk away because a situation with someone can turn, can quickly turn like violent argumentative or like sticky or nasty like i feel like this situation is best to walk away when someone gets this way or it's best to walk away from the situation or something as a whole the next seven days because it can quickly turn violent or it can quickly get ugly um it can quickly turn into a sticky situation this could be regarding a gemini this could be regarding a betrayal as well um i don't know like out of it's like out of nowhere someone starts acting kind of weird like out of the blue I would admit, I would just stay away, to be honest. It feels like the situation can turn ugly real fast. I don't know. Someone here could be like um, indecisive. Someone here could be of two minds. Maybe someone's bipolar. Someone here maybe has some mental instability or someone just can snap like that. So I would just leave that whole situation alone, to be honest. What is this for Libra? What does Libra need to know next seven days? Two of swords, eight of cups, the lovers. What is this? I feel like a situation can quickly get violent or get toxic with somebody. I don't know if this is someone that you're dealing with that's violent. Um, if this person's violent or if it can get verbally abusive, mentally abusive, emotionally abu like, you know, abusive in some way, if it's not physical, but it can quickly get like nasty. I, I wouldn't mess with this. I don't know what this situation is, what this is, the lovers, the emperor. It seems like someone changes their mind at like the drop of a dime, the drop of a hat or something like that. Like right, like right off the bat, someone's just one minute they're smiling, next minute they're like, "This feels like an unlucky situation to be in." I would, um, I, I, you may know exactly what this is about. If you don't, don't take it. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't have to be your story. But that's that's something that you need to know next seven days. Okay, so who is this? Who is this? Who is this talking about for Libra, where a situation can quickly get sticky or violent? 
page of cups i mean page of pentacles and the ace of cups because i feel like libra um this person seems this person feels unlucky in life or they feel unlucky in their life in their life like they're unsuccessful or something someone could be jealous of your success or jealous of you so i feel like um you know someone could get controlling something can get toxic where you start to feel stuck in it someone could become like um domineering dominant like angry bitter jealous mad abusive so i would just maybe not now but long term you know this, this could see someone putting their hands on you or someone you know getting you know i don't know maybe a mentally a mental abuse or something like that i feel like you should just you know yeah just separate from that okay what else does libra need to know next seven days spirit What else does Libra need to know next seven days, Spirit? What else does Libra need to know? Okay, we have the Empress reversed and we have the Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone. This person feels younger. Uh, I'm getting Taurus. Empress reversed and the Page of Pentacles. This person's very private, okay? Someone here is very private about their goals. They're very private about like everything that they go through. Like I feel like this person does not tell you much about their life. You may not know much about them. Okay, I'm getting um, very private energy off of this. Someone could be very regal, very beautiful, but they, they don't reveal much. Like, they're not very open. Okay? Um, this person's extremely private. Uh, okay, why is this coming out for Libra next seven days? Why does Libra need to know this? The sun. Tell me more about the sun. Why does Libra need to know this about this person that they're private? I don't know. You may not know. This person's actually a lot of fun. Like they're actually pretty interesting, but I just feel like they don't really let you in on their life or what they have going on. The sun, the wheel of fortune. I feel like this person likes to laugh. They like joy, all of that stuff. But I feel like, um, I don't know. I just feel like you're dealing, you seem to be dealing with complex people, like complex energies for people. Um, what else does Libra need to know? Next seven days, spirit. King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I want to say be careful with your words. Be careful what you say, Libra. It could start arguments or you could find yourself causing unnecessary pain, hurting people by accident. King of Pentacles, Three of Swords. What's this for Libra? Let me let me clarify cuz I keep getting the same energy that a situation with someone can get like disastrous, it can turn aggressive, it can turn abusive. Like I feel like this I'm I'm getting the energy of an abusive partner Libra. Like um I don't I don't want I don't want to scare y'all. Okay, if you're talking to somebody and you, you know you sense that they have anger issues or something like that, I feel like the relationship like I feel like um this person can you know, this is a, this is an abusive person, but like, you may not know that about them, that they're abusive, that they hit people or they, you know, they, um, they're controlling or toxic or that they're just verbally, emotionally, mentally abusive. Like, um, that may come out about this person that they can get this way or something, or something can turn that way. I don't know. I kind of feel like Libra, if, if you're thinking about packing your shit and leaving somebody, you should. If you're thinking about like running away or running away, like you should run, like not to say you're in danger, but like if you're having the thought about like, maybe I should leave, you know, I, I think you should. <laughs> I think you should get out of this. This is a, a sticky situation to be in or it can turn sticky. Like Who is this talking about for Libra where this can get abusive or this can get messy? Justice. This could be a, another Libra. This could be you leaving this behind. Who is this where this can get messy, you know, this abusive thing for Libra next seven days. And that, you know, this person comes across as very kind, very approachable, very nice. Uh oh, Libra. If you see the red flags, please pay attention. You may be walking into like a, a mess of a person and like you can avoid a lot of trauma if you just pay attention to the red flags because at the end of this if you if you go through with this you may start feeling like it's your fault it's not your fault all you did was walk into their life <laughs> that was all you did wrong um avoid this this person 
Okay. Um, let me see if I can get another message because I feel like this is kind of repetitive. I'm trying to pick up on something else for you. What else do you need to know? All right, you know what? Let's just let's just move on to what do you what do you need to be aware of? Yeah, let's just move on because I'm trying to keep the time good. Um, Spirit, what does Libra need to be aware of? Next seven days. What does Libra need to be aware of next seven days? Five of Cups. What is this Five of Cups? What does Libra need to be aware of? Five of Cups, Judgment. You may be missing somebody the next seven days. Libra, um, this feels like homesickness or just feelings of missing someone. They could be like further away from you. You guys could be separated by sea, you know, overseas. Um, I don't know. It seems like you're sad about someone. You're in the blue. Some of you guys may resort to alcohol, you know, not saying that you're an alcoholic, but you may have a glass of wine or start drinking because you're in your feelings. Five of Cups, Judgment. What is this? Um, what does Libra need to be aware of? Libra... Some of you may find yourself missing the toxic parts of a situation or the toxic parts of a person. Um, you need to know that you're missing the bad parts. Like that's what you're reminiscing on. That's what you can't let go of is the toxicity. Like, you know, it's, and it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's sometimes we, we all, well, some of us stay in toxic situations because it's comfortable, you know, it's addicting. And then you find comfort in that chaos, trauma bonds form, all that stuff. Toxic relationships are all too common to be honest. And I feel like what you're attracted to is the, um, the thrill of it, the danger or the stuff that, uh, isn't healthy for you. So you may find yourself thinking about going back, reminiscing. And I just want to say what you miss is not what's right for you. What you miss is all the wrong parts of a person, all the bad parts. This person is not good for you. The situation's not good for you. What you're missing is you're putting so much stock in it, but it's not even good. Um, you got so much more to, uh, to look forward to, but you're focused on like what you lost and what you lost, it wasn't even like something good to be reminiscent on. Like, I feel like you just need to expose yourself to the good that you can have. Cause it seems like, I don't know, Libra, I don't know, but it's almost like, for example, like, let's say you enter into a relationship with a bad boy or a bad girl that, you know, wears leather jackets, drive, drives motorcycles, gets into troubles, graffitis walls, you know, sets buildings on fire, you know, commits crimes, all that stuff. And like, you miss that person, but like, you miss the thrill, the thrill of like the, uh, the illegalness, the thrill of like doing something wrong, potentially getting caught, the thrill, but it's like, that thrill is what's going to get you in trouble. Like, it feels like you miss the bad parts, the toxic parts, the, the bad seeds, the bad apple, Libra. So um, just be mindful about that, okay? What else does Libra need to be aware of next seven days? What else does Libra need to be aware of next seven days? Page of Cups. Some of you guys are going to be dealing with a Taurus soon. I see that you're going to be judging somebody. So I don't know if you guys are a boss. You're going to be interviewing this person or you're going to be looking, you're going to be closely uh, crit critiquing somebody or judging them. So I don't know if you're a judge, if you have to make a decision, if you're in a position of power or what, but I see you kind of working closely together with someone like, you know, looking over their work, making sure everything's in working order, making sure that they're good. Um, I see you, I don't know, this feels like an interview, like you're judging this person on something. I feel like they kind of do well, like they do a good job. Judgment, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this for Libra. What do they need to be aware of next seven days? Um, you're, you might be like interviewing somebody or like, I don't know, in the position to like oversee someone. So like review something, whatever. Like I see you being in the position to make a judgment on another person. Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Hierophant. Yeah, this is a Taurus. You could be judging somebody on their ideas. Some of you guys could be judging somebody on their beliefs. I don't know. It's like you're asking questions. Um, this is like this is like a, a back and forth, like a communication, like inquiries about this. They they inform you, blah, blah, blah. It's like a back and forth. You guys could be making conversation with somebody. I feel like you actually really enjoy this. Some of you guys enjoy what you do for work. 
but I feel like you really enjoy something with another person. This could be a Taurus. Okay. Um, let's do your money messages. I feel like you enjoy the back and forth or the banter. Like something's actually funny. This person could be funny. I don't know. This could be someone at work. I feel like this person maybe has much more experience than you or something. I don't know. But um, either way, there's some kind of conversation. It could be regarding work or something about like your routine, whatever you do for work. Um, what do you got for Libra next seven days in money? Libra next seven days in money. Okay, we got the sun card. Some of you guys are going to be making more money, attracting more wealth towards you. Wow, yeah, you guys, this is abundance. Okay, this could be a new opportunity as well. You guys could be signing a new contract. What's the sun for Libra? Their money next seven days. The sun? Oh, yeah, I, I see. I think I saw, I think, did I get that earlier? I don't know if I got that earlier, but some of you guys could be making a lot more money. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be signing a contract soon. The sun, the ace of swords. I feel like you're going to be working closely together. So if you haven't met this Taurus, you're going to be meeting this person and you're going to be working closely together with them. This person's very smart. They're an intellectual. And I feel like they're they're extremely funny. Like they like to make you laugh. The sun, ace of swords. What's the sun, um, ace of swords for Libra next seven days? Their money. Five of wands. Hold on. What's this ace of swords? And the money next seven days. Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles for Libra and then money. I feel like you're getting a lot of new ideas as to how to make money or how to make your money stretch, how to make something work for you, Libra. I see you like, I see you making more. Like this is like you making lemonade out of some lemons, okay? I feel like um, you're making your money stretch and you're coming out with good ideas for money. This could be a new contract as well. I, I see you being very excited for some kind of new career, some kind of new path. Like I see you being very happy to like embark on some kind of new journey. I feel like you're going to meet a lot of new people um, in that path as well. These people are going to be very nice. So if you're if you're if you're about to uh, enter into a new job, um, you're going to encounter some very kind, sweet people, loving people. Okay, they're good people, good vibes. Okay, good uh, nice people. Anything else for Libra and their money next seven days? Okay, we got the nine of swords. I'm gonna take the tower. Nine of Swords and the Tower. What's this tower? Hold on. What's this tower for Libra and their money in like seven days? You're going to be leaving. Yeah, you're leaving something behind. I, I, I'm getting like tomorrow. Like you could literally be quitting your job like tomorrow, next week or something like that. I feel like you're just going to be leaving. Yeah. Some of you may be leaving and leaving behind and not saying anything else. Some of you guys could be getting promoted. Okay, but I see you leaving something behind. I feel like you're really apologetic, but uh, if it's not tomorrow, it's like soon. Like it's like in the immediate future, it's coming in. Okay, I, what's this? Why is why is the ta why is the the nine of swords here? This could be like anxiety. I don't know if you're anxious about leaving this behind. What's the nine of swords? The Libra, their money, some days. Nine of swords. Some of you guys could be anxious to leave something behind. Like you're ready, you're done. Okay, you guys are ready. Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay, let's move on to your Oracle message. Can I get an Oracle card for Libra? Next seven days. Okay, I'm going to take... Yeah, you know, I'll take both of these, okay? I'll read both of them. We have... Um, sorry, I got a... Oh, I got a... What the hell? I just got a notification. Someone posted something crazy just now. Sorry. Um, the title was like, whoa. Okay, I'm going to read both of these cards for you guys, okay? I'll read Gateway since that came out first and then New Beginnings. Okay, Gateway. Magic is afoot. Wondrous events are unfolding. Profound revelations and inner illuminations are close at hand. It is now much easier to manifest your dreams. This is an excellent time to take action on your visions for your future. A small amount of action now will generate much bigger results. Gateways to spirit are opening and there are places where the veil is especially thin. Fairies and elves are supporting you. Wonders are blossoming into your life. Watch for them. Open your heart and hollowed holy magical energy. 
The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Okay, so magic is a foot in your life, Libra. I feel like it's in your career and your love life. Okay, um, let's let's do new beginnings. I mean, this is self-explanatory, but we'll read it anyways. Um, your life is expanding in profound and wondrous ways. New experiences and ideas are emerging. Vitality and wide open opportunities are at hand. Seize the day. This is a perfect time to begin that new project or give birth to an emerging idea. Timing is everything and the time is now. Anything and everything is possible. Good fortune awaits you. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the Yang principle, expanding power and activity. You are radiant and luminous. There is a glow within you that can be felt by all. Libra, yeah, there's new beginnings. Like, uh, I'm feeling like there's endings and new beginnings for you. And then th this may be where the magic is, Libra. Um, this may be where stuff is opening up for you. But that's what I got for you, Libra. Beautiful reading, beautiful week for you. Just that little hiccup with that potentially abusive person. But um, if you could just run away from that, get away from that, the week looks wondrous for you in terms of everything else, okay? But that has been your reading, Libra. Um, I hope this helped you in some way. I hope it resonated. If it did, I hope it provides you with some clarity for the ensuing days. And yeah, I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.